Hello, welcome to Truth Be Known. Today we're going to have a good conversation. It's going to be talking about ingredients. So, as I was on the journey to change my diet, well, when I make decisions to do something, I have to say that I like to do some investigation first. And because you know, I mean, there's no sense in going on this kind of a diet if it's going to go and there's no sense going on this kind of diet if it's going on well, let me assure you, all diets fail. And so if you're on it, it works. If you're off of it, it doesn't. So we're, this is just a way of life. We're just going to have to live like this, you know? And so you have to decide what it is that you can live with and eat comfortably and eat, um... And make you feel like you're, you know, happy. (laughs) What's going to make you happy? What are you going to eat that's going to make you happy? And make you feel good about your body and make you feel healthy. Because that's the reason people change their eating habits is to make themselves happy. Make their bodies happy, in fact. But today as I was doing my journey of going through and um, looking for the foods that I need to eat, I came upon some other things that is very alarming. And I would like to share them with you today. And we're just going to go one meal at a time. How is that? Because I'm not really sure what direction this is going to go in. But I have lots of information and this might take a couple of podcasts because there's more to the story than just these ingredients in foods. But as I was searching out what kind of diet I wanted to do, and actually I knew what kind of diet I needed to do, and that would be a low carb, no sugar. And so first, you know, the things you do is you figure out what kind of diet that is and what you get to eat. You know, you don't care about what you don't get to eat. You want to know what you can eat. And so in my search for this, my low carb would be no sugar in in that now I'm not sure if low carb um, if they allow sugar or if they don't but you know I kind of come up with my own rules of dieting and I'm also doing the carnivore 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 diet sounds like a carnival diet boy that'd be a great diet wouldn't it pretzels hot dogs corn dogs cotton candy oh yes okay so anyways back to this other diet foods um So I was looking at the ingredients and the different things. And I'm trying to find no sugar. Well, first thing, sugar is sugar. So I eliminated that. Which I have never really just ate a bunch of sugar. I do love candy. And candy has lots of sugar. And I do love cake. And cake has lots of sugar. But usually I'm on a diet. So I'm not. I never allow myself to consume this kind of food every day. So to put a replacement on the sugar I've looked at all the different labels and things and well I found one it's called stevia in the raw and I'm like oh stevia because I've heard stevia is good for you everybody's saying um use stevia or truvia I think that's what the other one's called use it use it so I got this and I started using it and I didn't even look at the ingredients in it if you hear noises it's because I have all my food over here (laughs) I'm trying to explain these um so I looked at the ingredients one day and it says dextrose. What? What is dextrose? So I'm going to tell you what dextrose is. It is a sweetener found in corn syrup, including high fructose corn syrup and many processed foods, such as cakes, cookies, baked goods. Hello? I am trying to rid my sugar. And in my sugar is dextrose. It's a sweetener found in corn syrup. And what is corn syrup? Well, that's a sugar. (laughs) Oh my goodness. So on this um, journey, I have found out all sweeteners have different names. There's things that are like sucralose. That's a sweetener. Don't, that's not good for you. Don't be drink eating that. Splenda, not good for you. That's what sucralose is, is Splenda. These are artificial sweeteners that are not good for you. There is so many different things out there. And I found out that they change the names of sugar and put them on the back of products. And it's okay for them to call it 
something else, even though it's actually sugar. So if you want a good sweetener, sweet leaf has stevia sweetener. Let's look and see what's in this. Inulin. Inulin is a dietary fiber ingredient used to improve the nutritional value of manufactured food products. And then of course stevia leaf is stevia. Watch out for all the other um, stevias and whatever all these other things are that they're coming out with saying they're good for you. And look at the ingredients and and then it will tell you if they're good for you or not. The reason I have this sugar is because I want to put it in my coffee. So I went and wanted to get creamer for my coffee. Oh my goodness. Really? Coffee creamer? Let's look that one up. I have all these things somewhere. I have them written out everywhere, <laughs> everywhere and I cannot find them. So I'm just doing it right now here with my computer. Coffee creamer. Everybody loves their coffee mate creamer. Oh my goodness. It is so awesome. It's got amazing, amazing flavors. Okay, ingredients. This is in Coffee Mate the Original. This is the non-dairy that you have in those little packets. And those are so good. But the ingredients in them is water, coconut oil, sugar. Oh, sugar, rats. And then they have these other things in here that, you know, if they have long names and you don't even know how to pronounce them, then you might need to be looking them up to see what they really are because that happens a lot. People like to get their coffee creamer and they like to get their um, sugar-free syrup. And see, I used to live off that sugar-free syrup. And what is in that sugar-free syrup is not good for you. It tastes delicious and it's awesome, but it is not good for you at all. But we are looking up coffee creamer still. And I'm trying to find what the ingredients is in. Here's a half and half. Let's look at this. This is Lando Lakes half and half. They're the little packets of coffee creamer. And you think, oh, they're so good for you. Because they don't have any carbs in them. This one doesn't even show the ingredients. But I want you to, I can't find where it would be at. But um, some of them say carcinogen in them. And these are in the creamers, coffee creamers. And I think it's on the Nestle's and I think it's on the other brand that is amazingly yummy. And I think it's on this Land of Lakes half and half also, the Mini Moose. I think they have the word, it's a carcinogen. And a carcinogen means it is cancer causing. There's some ingredients that they are putting in food that causes cancer. Now, why in the world? I do not understand this. Oh, there's the ingredient list right here. Why would they be putting food, things in food? Here it is. Milk, cream, sodium citrate. Let me see if I have sodium citrate, what that is. I don't have that. Datum, tet, these big long words. And then there is carrageenan. I think that's what it's called. Sometimes it's carcinogen, but this is carrageenan. Carrageenan. I'm going to look that word up and see what that means. Don't look up the ingredients and what they're giving us because I think there's carcinogen in which is cancer causing. That's what that means in um, lots of your foods, cottage cheese, lots of your dairies, things like that. So be on the alert and be cautious. Carrageenan is a natural food additive from red seaweed that can thicken, emulsify, and preserve foods and drinks. It may cause inflammation, ulcerations, and colon cancer. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is in creamer in your coffee. Just creamer in your coffee. There are creamers that do not have this. I've been drinking um, it's half and half and it is not the one I mean it's in the big Bought the container. It's not the one that's already pre whatever in the little containers. It's the bigger one. It doesn't have any ingredients in it. Bad ingredients. And also um, the heavy whipping cream. If you like to put that in your coffee, 
Although be cautious because that has a lot of calories in it. And I had been drinking that stuff like crazy. That stuff has like 100 calories for two tablespoons. And I uh, eat, drink two things of coffee a day. So yeah, the calories kind of add up a little bit. So be careful on that. Also keep an eye out on the heavy whipping cream because not all heavy whipping cream are the same. And, and just with that, you have to look at the ingredients to see what has the bad stuff and what does not. And they might have some additives that are good, but look those ingredients up. Don't get anything that has the carrageenan in it because that is cancer causing. Oh, so there is just your, that's just your coffee. We've already talked about the sugar and we've talked about the creamer in your coffee. I found other things to replace in my coffee that does not have any of these elements. And it, I love my coffee every day. <sighs> so let's go on to breakfast. Eggs. Eggs. Oh my goodness. I don't know what they're doing to chickens. But my husband brought home, this ain't an egg, brought home a chicken um, leg the other day. And that thing was huge. I'm like, there is no way that chicken was that big. So I don't know what they're feeding these animals and pumping them up so that these things can be that big but i'm not going to eat that there's something wrong with this and so you know so eggs be try to get fresh farm eggs there's people out there that have chickens they're selling their fresh farm eggs and i tell you what they're just as a pricey as the ones in the store and they are so much better for you you can even ask them what they're feeding their chickens and just go that route you know that's all i know about that um, bacon oh my goodness I had to research bacon too because I was eating a ton of bacon and bacon has sugar in it and it has sodium nitrate what is sodium nitrate let's see what that is now this is regular bacon from the store I have this special one that I really 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 like to eat it's so yummy and of course if you're gonna go out to eat you know they just give you the bacon they have Sodium nitrate is an ingredient added to processed foods that boosts the reddish pink color of cured meats. When meat is heated at high temperatures or combined with stomach acid during digestion, it produces harmful compounds called nitrosamines that are linked to different cancers. That sodium nitrate. They have that in bacon, ham, hot dogs, sausages, lunch meats, smoked fish, and corned beef. So... My husband, my sweet husband, I just love him so much. I'm the penny pincher in the family. And <laughs> he goes to the truck patch and gives me the Peterson's hickory smoked cured bacon, which has no nitrates and it has no sugar in it. Oh, thank you, my Hanks, for doing that for me. You know, because this stuff really matters. Sausage. Let's see what's in this Jimmy Dean sausage. You know, I love Jimmy Dean sausage. Holy cow. And so I had to stop eating that. I had to stop eating lots of things because of that. A so corn syrup. that They say corn syrup, but that is sugar. Natural flavor. Oh, that's another one. Natural flavor. They put that in there, and that means what? Sugar. And then they actually put the word sugar. I don't know if this... It doesn't say anything about sodium nitrate on this, but it says monosodium glutamine, which I don't even know what that is, but... I would, I'm sure it's in my notes here. And hot dogs. As we've already talked about, hot dogs have sodium nitrate. Let me look at my notes. Oh, we have red 40. Do you know what that is? That's the red um, food coloring that they put in candies and things like that. And let me just tell you something about this. Let me read this first. It says, while red 40 has been banned throughout Australia and most of Europe due to health concerns... It's one of the most commonly used chemical dye in the United States. It's been linked to issues like ADD, ADHD, allergies, immune disorders, and inflammatory bowel disease. If you give your kid candy, fruity cereals, all that kind of stuff, this has it in there. And it's linked to ADD and ADHD. Um, it says it ha is in candy like m and Skittles, Jelly Beans. Instant chocolate pudding, fruity cereals, ice cream, popsicles, and beverages. And let me tell you, I love, I love my candy. And I used to love Skittles. I sat there when I'm watching TV and I ate a whole thing of Skittles. And do you know, 
my mouth on the inside broke out and I was just causing a very bad reaction but I know it's because of those those red dyes in there licorice red licorice I love I love chewy chewy things but that has the red red stuff in it too and it it messed my mouth up it just it's not good for your kids it's not good for me so limit your your stuff on what you give your kids look at the ingredients and see what's in them and now they have they're saying the cheerios and different things like that that they're putting stuff on the wheat and all this stuff that can cause cancer so just look on the ingredients it doesn't take but two minutes to look on the ingredients but it takes a little bit more to look up all those words to find out what they mean caramel color this is also in colas baked goods pre-cooked meats soy sauce and worcestershire sauce it's found in candy protein bars beer and other processed foods they call it caramel color this additive is ba is made by treating sugar with ammonia it produces compounds that are carcinogenic to animals and possibly carcinogenic to humans. <laughs> so, this is caramel color. I'm sure that's in a lot of popcorn. Titanium dioxide. It's a color additive used to give a natural whiteness to food to make them better looking. It was recently banned from us from use in goods in Europe based on concerns that it caused DNA damage. What what is it found in? Baked goods, chewing gum, chocolate puddings, hard shelled candies, frosting, dressings, sauces, and coffee creamer. Coffee creamer, there you go. Let's see, we have BH, BHA. I can't pronounce it. It's a chemical antioxidant used to extend the shelf life of a food. It's reasonably anticipated to be a human carcinogen. It also been shown to disrupt hormones and harm the reproductive system. It is banned. In Japan, Europe, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. Where it's found? Cereals, chewing gum, potato chips, baked goods, snacks, foods, and vegetable oils. Why are they doing this to the American people? Why are they putting this stuff in there to harm people? Have you not looked on the obituaries and seen all... Like, there is a group of people, probably right now, from 32 to maybe 55 that have died of cancer and people are like what is going on look at the foods oh my goodness high fructose corn syrup you know we talked about that it causes inflammation it causes fatty liver it's in candy soda drinks fast foods oh my goodness sucralose you know that's that is artificial sugars they're found in foods that claim um, no sugar added or sugar free so be on the caution with all of these foods they can cause harm i have good news though it says in the bible that anything that we eat that we will be safe from and i truly believe the reason that's in there well because you know we're not going to go out here and just eat berries off the tree knowing that they're going to hurt us we don't usually eat food thinking it's going to hurt us. But we do eat food sometimes and don't realize that it is hurting us. In Exodus 23, 25, it does give us a command. It says, you must serve only the Lord your God. And then if you do, I will bless you with food and water and I will protect you from illness. Verse 26 says, there will be no miscarriages or infertility in your land and I will give you long full lives i do believe that is because when we bless our food we bless that and it cannot hurt us if there's something in there that's bad that they put in then it cannot hurt us especially if we don't know anything about it if we know it can't hurt us now you're well informed so stop <laughs> partaking of the foods that are not good for you and wow is there many 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 also on your chicken on your beef get grass fed get the good stuff it's going to cost a little more a lot a lot of more it's going to cost a lot more but it's worth it well well worth it in the end because you know we just don't want to put anything in our 
bodies that's going to hurt us or harm us. You know, people wonder, why do I not feel good? I don't understand why I'm not feeling good. Because maybe it's what you're eating. But then again, sometimes it's not what you're eating, but what's eating you. And that's for another day. <laughs> we sure did enjoy having you here with us today. It was a blast and it was crazy. And we will be talking more about these ingredients and a whole bunch more later. So you have a wonderful day. And this is Truth Be Known. <laughs>